channel so in this video I'm going to show you guys how I made this lace frontal not necessarily how I made the wig but how I customized and personalized the lace frontal itself so stay tuned I'm kind of under the weather today that's why I sound kind of like you know funky but you know it's okay I'm getting better okay so hope you like this video and if you want to see how I made the actual wig itself I'm going to leave the link to that video down in this description box of this video so hope you like it thumbs it up like it share subscribe to my channel Thank you. <laughs> so this is a 13 by 14 inch lace frontal that I purchased from Ali Moda on AliExpress it is 16 inches so I'll be using a clear all BW2 bleach and a 30 volume developer and I'll be mixing this one to one ratio so that the consistency of the bleach will be thick and not soupy and liquidy. So now I'll be applying the bleach mixer lightly with a knife onto the bleach, onto not the bleach, the frontal. Make sure you're not pressing on it too hard so that it wouldn't seep through the frontal onto your hair. So lightly spread it out onto the frontal. After I'm done bleaching the hair, I shampoo my hair first and then I deep condition. And the, um, the deep conditioner I'll be using is the same one that I use for my actual real hair, which is the ORS, o Olive Oil ORS Replenishing Conditioner. After the frontal has been bleached, I'm going to tint the hair so that it'll blend in better with my scalp. So I'm going to be using boiling hot water and a door hair dye in the shade dark mahogany and some salt to lift the oranginess from the frontal. I do not necessarily measure out how much water that I'm going to be using for the process. I just use enough water that I, so that I can be able to dip my frontal into it. You can use about 12 to 15 ounces of water and I use about two fourths of the hair dye. And the hair dye also depends on how much darker you want the lace of the frontal to be. And I use about one fourth salt. And this salt just basically lifts the oranginess of the frontal off. After the mixture, I dip my whole lace of the frontal into the mixture. And I leave it in there for about a minute or so just depends on if the color has gotten to where I need it to be. So you can leave it in there for a minute and just check in and out to see if the color is where it needs to be. And I dip my whole lace into it because sometimes the bleach would have slipped through and went to my hair and this is a perfect opportunity for it to like get back to a dark color. So that's why I dip my whole lace in there. This is how the frontal looks after it's been tinted. It looks much better than after it's been bleached and more realistic for my shade, my skin color. So now I'm going to deep condition this for about an hour and then sew it into my wig unit. 
if you want to see how I made my wig unit, I will leave the link in the description box below. So check it out. Now it's time for plucking. This process is very time consuming and it requires a lot of patience. With my pluck, plucking in process, I don't necessarily focus it on in front of the um, the hairline of the frontal. I focus it a little bit behind it because I don't want to create like bald spots in front of the hairline. So I just focus my plucking process behind a little behind the hairline. <laughs> As you can see, I plug in random places, not necessarily focusing on one specific spot, just random places of a section. I start creating like little short strands of baby hairs in the front in this section. This is how the hair looks after it's been plucked. After the plucking, I'm going to be focused on making my baby hair. I'll be using thinning shears to thin out the baby hair. So when making my baby hairs, water is very important. I use the water to spray onto the baby hair and then soup it up with the comb.
After I'm done making the baby hair, I then cut the excess lace off and go about my business. Ever since I left the city Ever since I left